Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. Uh, this series is a series of uh, videos on simple make file tutorials. Now, in this video, uh, in this tutorial, we'll, ma we'll make our first make file and uh, let's see how to st get started about with it. Now, before we start with that, I like to show you guys this, these two programs over here. These two are actually written in Fortran, Fortran 95. Okay, let's have a look. So, this is actually the main program main Fortran program such okay and it starts over here and ends over ends over here okay what it does is that it just calcul um, it just uh, I mean gets a few value uh, sets a few values values and then it calculates the mean and, th and these functions mean uh, mean one mean mean one sta standard deviation one okay these functions calculate the mean standard deviation variance and covariance of the way of the given values the given values values one and values two okay and the functions that define um, you know that the functions that define what uh, the what uh, the mean uh, standard deviation does and how it has to be done they're all defined under this module stat underscore funks okay and this stat underscore funks is actually present in this for this file so stat underscore funks is this module uh, okay it's actually this module and in this module there are like say, all these functions defined for instance you have the mean function and you have the standard deviation function you have the standard deviation function of, i mean the variance function over here and you have the standard deviation function over here and also you have the covariance function over here and the correlate and several other functions like the correlation function and you also have a function for sorry uh, this is actually a subroutine all these are function where this is a subroutine for printing the map for printing the matrices okay now <coughs> here's the condition so if you want to uh, install if you want to make an executable out of this uh, program stats uh, stats dot f95 and get an executable out of it okay you have to compile this and while compiling this it needs the mo uh, it needs this uh, modules file that has to be already compiled so this function I'm sorry this file has to be compiled first and an object file and the module file should be available first uh, before compiling this so if I want to make an executable using this and run this program I need to compile this first and make sure an executable is I mean, sorry I make sure an object file and a module file is available and then I have to compile this to produce an object file and then I join the object files of this uh, program and the object file of this program to produce an executable and I can run that okay now, if I were to look at this in a simple manner, I have written an already existing uh, shell script. What it does is that it does the same thing. Uh, first, it compiles it compiles a module file stat underscore funks, and then it compiles the main file stats dot f ninety five, and then it and then it uh, I mean takes all the object files and links it with the O flag, and then creates an executable, and then it runs the executable. Fair enough. So this is how it is done. Now let's see how this can be written in. <coughs> how this can be written in uh, make files now for that what I'm going to do I'm going to create an empty file and this empty file has to have the name make file nothing more nothing less just the make file and make sure that the cap uh, the M in the make file is caps that is important that is absolutely important and click create okay now let's open this up um, okay let me just push it over here so that it's convenient to see there we go and now let's open the stats file as well just keep it next let's keep it next to us oh come on yeah okay that will do okay now the first condition uh, first thing you have to keep in mind while writing a make file is that there is some there is a rule is, is to be followed here the the rule the generic rule is target colon dependency and then you put a tab this is important this is important and then you write command so this is how you have to follow first you have to put specify a target you have to specify a target that is the file or the program or the output that you're going to produce and uh, you just have to specify what are the files that has to be ready before this target can be made so they hence they are called as dependencies so meaning only if all the dependencies okay that i mentioned over here are ready the target will be made okay and you specify this link first and then what do you do you just have to type the command and before you type the command you just have to put a tab 
that is important you have to put a tab no space no other intonation just a tab so you have to put a tab and then you write the command that can produce the dependencies I mean, that can produce the uh, target from the de given dependencies so this is something you have to keep in mind so i'm going to you know i'm going to come in, i mean i'm going to delete these lines so this is how we begin with so the first thing we are, uh, ultimately what we are going to do is that we have to produce this stats.exe file so let's write that so stats.exe okay and that's my primary target so to produce this target what do i need i need these object files stats.f stats.o and then stats stat underscore funks.o so i put them over here stats.o and then stat underscore funks dot o okay that i have to i have to put this here and then i press enter and then i give a tab that is important and after this i have to write the command that can build it so the command is uh, g fortran okay either you can just write this notation or there's another compilation flag notation so i'm going to use uh, minus o stats dot exe and then I use I use these dependencies in it. So stat uh, punks dot o and then stats dot o. Okay. Now we made the primary. This this is the comment that is going to make the primary. Uh, this is going to come. This is the comment that's going to make the final uh, destin final uh, output output file, which is this executable file. Now we have to write definitions to create how these object files are made okay so that's going to be our next next thing so first uh, let's do this in a simple way and write it manually in the future tutorial we'll see how to how we can simplify all this uh, using some command variables and all okay and we'll make it a little more user friendly now next next is we well, let's we have to create this uh, stats.o let's try this so it's stats.o okay and to indicate that uh, oh, I mean and this file uh, to make this target the dependencies are stats.f95 okay because if this file is modified this has to be updated this has to be uh, recompiled okay and also and also this file can it should not be compiled first rather uh, this file has to be compiled only after stats underscore stat underscore funks is made so I write stat underscore Fun, uh, funks dot o that's important so how do i do about with it now again i write this now i write the command g fortran minus c and then i write stats dot f95 okay this ensures that uh, only after this file has been made uh, this object this object file will be created okay mind the, mind it that uh, i put a tab over here and that's is something important fortran is, sorry make file is very very picky on there you have to put a tab nothing more and then finally last thing uh, we made this one uh, executive we made this we need this one more okay so stat underscore uh, funks dot o okay we put a colon and it depends on only on the func file stats st um, stat underscore funks dot f95 only when if this file is modified we have to create this stat stat underscore funks dot o otherwise you don't have to do it so the command for that is you know fortran minus c uh, stat underscore funks dot f95 and there we go well that that is it people uh, this is the simplest uh, this is a very simple make file and with this we are good to go and now let's uh, you know uh, close th now let's close this now let's close this and have a look at these uh, have a look at the these these files and I'm also going to open uh, sorry I'm also going to open this make file over here okay now let's open a terminal over here and run this first of all if I now if I list them up we have all these files over here now let's uh, produce this statistics file. Now let's produce this uh, object file using stats.search. Uh, so ba I mean uh, bash stats uh, stats.search. Run this. There you go. 
it, it does give a it does give some warning it does give some warning but doesn't matter if you look at it it pro it compiles the file it builds an executable and it even ran the executable okay fair enough okay and now if i were to delete the delete these star dot o star dot uh, mod and then star dot exe okay now let's create this from make to make to do this all i have to type is make as long as you have a make file over here if you just type make and that will do and there you have it your com your executable is produced the executable is produced your function i mean your object file is produced and if you look at it the command is generated as follows first it uh, produced g fortran stats and uh, i mean you compile this file first uh, g fortran minus c start underscore funks dot f95 because as per the dependency uh, as per the file we how we wrote this is the file that has no dependencies to start with so it ran first and then this file g fortran dot stats dot f95 worked out it wor worked out and then and then uh, all these uh, object files are combined together to form this stats dot exe and and now let's run, if we run this stats dot exe and there you go same result just like what we did last time like what we showed last time in the shell script well, now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial now this is a simple explanation of how to write a make file make file now in the next video i'll talk about uh, making some simplifications and adding this clean feature adding a, a clean feature in the in the tutorial thank you until um, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh, next time